Now that we've finished creating our vase and it's dry, we can begin to create our orchids. So for that, we're going to use our coffee filters that we made last week. And we also have a little guide that's sort of gonna help us here. So for each one of these little coffee filters, we're going to fold one in half. And I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper to sort of block off half of this so that I can see it. And then my straight line is going to be on the same side where this would be so that I can copy the same thing. On the fold, I'm going to draw this same design that I see here. And depending on how big you make it will be how big your orchid will be. So I'm only doing the half of it like this. And then when I cut it out, I'm going to have something that looks like an orchid. I'm going to do the same thing with one of my other colorful pieces here. Fold my coffee filter in half, move this down so I, I can do the other piece also. So again, from the folded side, I'm going to be creating the same exact shape. So it comes up like this. And then for my last one, this small one for the middle, we only had you make one of these yellow coffee filters because we're going to be using this twice. So I'm going to fold it in half again, and I'm just going to create this almost U shape. So I'll do one right here, and then it comes up, and then comes down, so it's half of a U. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here so that I have one for my second one. Okay, and then once I have these, I can go ahead and cut them out. Now that I've cut out all these pieces, I can stick them together. So the very first one that we made is going to be on the bottom, and I'm just going to put a single small dot of glue in the middle of that. Then the second one we made, with the little pieces coming down, is going to go right on top of that, like this. And then one more dot of glue in the middle, really small, you don't want too much because then it'll go through and your orchid will stick to everything. And we can stick that in the middle. Okay, and the final step to sort of assemble our little Ming vase here is to create the leaves and stems. So I'm going to take a little six inch square piece of paper, fold it in half, make sure it's even. And then to make the stems, I'm just going to cut a thin strip here. And when I cut it while it's folded, it's going to create two identical pieces. So I can use both of those for little stems. So once I put them in here or in my little vase, will be able to stick out like that. But I also need to create two leaves. So for that, I'm going to use a marker here. You can use a pencil in case you make a mistake. Pay attention to the top of your vase. If it's really thin, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the base of the leaf is thin enough to actually fit in there. And I'm just going to make it sort of curved on one end and get thinner on the other end. And that's all there really is to it. Then you can cut along this line while it's folded so that you create two identical pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. All right, and when I glue this piece down, because I can still see the marker, I'm gonna make sure that I actually turn it to the other side. All right, so at this point, I can finally glue everything down. So I've chosen yellow for my background paper. It's up to you what color you'd like to choose. I'm going to first create a tablecloth using a little 12 by nine piece of paper and a few dots of glue. And then I'm going to stick this at the bottom of my paper here, like this, so that it lines up evenly. Then I'm going to glue my vase down. I'm actually gonna be a little bit careful here that I don't glue the top yet because that's I have to stick my stems inside there. And I don't want to move it up too, too high because I need space for my orchids and my stems. Once I have this on, I can go ahead and add my stems inside. So I'll stick this one in here. And the other one might go on the other side. Maybe I'll even have them a little bit different heights to make it more interesting. I can glue my orchids on top. So I just need a dot of glue really on top. 
and do the same thing over here. And then my leaves, I'm gonna stick maybe one on this side. You might wanna do it underneath the petals here, coming out from the base. And then the other one might be on the other side. Like that. And then my last step, since I didn't glue down the top of this yet, is just put a few dots of glue and glue that down. And then we're left with this beautiful, traditional looking Chinese Ming vase.